Hello, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. Uh, as you can see, I'm coming to you from a hotel room. I'm actually in Detroit where I had the opportunity to spend some time with the Ford folks. Great time. So today I'm going to be talking to you about a command called multi-leader. Now we've had the leader command for a billion years. It feels like a long time. And it's not the best command in the world. It's okay. And then Q leader came out, which was actually quite a bit better, but still had room for improvement. Well, now we have the fabulous multi-leader command. This command works great, has a lot of nice benefits to it. And I want to make sure that you're using it. So let's do a quick tour of the multi-leader command. So I'm going to go to the top of the screen and I'm going to create a multi-leader. Very, very simple. And let me make sure it got that. There we go. And I'm going to go now. I don't have to select where I want the arrow to go like the other commands. I can actually say I pick where I want the leader landing to go. I can pick where I want the content to go. In this case, I am going to select where I want the arrow to go. And I'll just pick where I want my text to go there. I want the end where the leader landing to start and my text. Yep. There you go. We're going to put right down mortar joint. Now, if I hit an enter, it's actually going to go down to the next line and allow me to do line after line after line. So I actually found the fastest way to get out of a multi-line command. Just pick somewhere else <laughs> away from the multi-line and it will def it'll just end the command, which is fast, efficient, and I'm fine with that. So, so far, not so exciting, right? I could have done that with the plain old leader command or the Q leader command. So, so far, not so exciting. But this is where it gets better. I'm going to go ahead and select the M leader that I created, the multi leader. Do a right click, and you will see this fabulous add leader option. And this is where the party begins. Check this out. Now I'm able to add all of these leaders to the original multi leader. Love, love, love that. How easy is that? That's something we've been wanting to do for a long time, right? So, what else can we do? Well, um, taking a look at my screen right here, I have three leaders. These guys are not lining up at all. And uh, rather than just kind of guesstimate and try to line them up, I'm going to use a really nice tool called multi-leader align. So let's go ahead and grab that command. And all you have to do is select the leaders that you want to work with, that you want to line up. Pick the one that you want to work with as a reference. And I'm going to turn my ortho on just to make sure it's all nice and straight. And you'll see that now they all line up. Very, very simple. Now my drafting teacher will be happy with me, right? <laughs> I'm not breaking any rules. Okay, let's move on. Let's go to the top here. I'm going to show you one other nice tool. Let's get inside this viewport. Am I in the viewport? I am. All right, one more. Here I have three multi-leaders, or three leaders anyway. They have bubbles on the end of them, and I want to convert them into just one. There's a really nice tool called multi-leader collect, and that's what I'm going to use right up here, multi-leader collect. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Select all of the leaders that I'm working with, and you'll see that very quickly and easily it lines them all up. I just have to pick where I want them to go. Easy, 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 right? It doesn't get much easier than that. So just so we're clear, I have been working on the annotate tab of the ribbon. Here are your multi-leader commands. Here's add a leader. If you don't want to pick from the right-click menu, you can also remove a leader after the fact. And there's multi-leader align. And here is multi-leader collect. It's really M leader align and M leader collect. All right, easy, right? All right, promise me you're going to go out and give this command a try. Thank you for joining me and have a great rest of the week.